Hello, folks, and welcome to the Democratizing SEO podcast, a podcast for marketers who seek to have a better understanding of the SEO channel in order to engage with it more successfully. My name is Austin Asazabor. I am an SEO consultant and your host for this podcast. Let me ask you something. When was the last time you optimized your CMS? I'm not talking about regular updates by the dev team. I'm talking about improvements with the involvement of SEO. When was the last time you had this carried out? It's been a while since I last spoke about CMS optimization, but it's a part of your website optimization that should be considered with other SEO related pieces of work. It's optimization for your site carried out on the infrastructure of your site, your CMS. So why do you need to optimize your CMS from an SEO point of view? Well, have you ever had your SEOs talk about limitations or restrictions or workarounds they have to go through just to optimize the site? There's a high chance that this will be because of the state of your CMS. You see, most CMSs are built without the involvement of SEO. And this is for various reasons, especially if your CMS is custom built. It most likely would not have had an SEO engaged with for the development of it. As such, your CMS would most likely cause issues for the optimization of your website. And the issues will most likely be ones that affect more than one department. For example, let's say you have a tech audit carried out. One of the findings is that your pages do not contain any canonicals, self-referencing canonicals. The recommendation here is, of course, to have this tag on pages. This rec is passed on to your web editors to carry out. They report back saying this functionality isn't available in the CMS. Before they're able to apply this rec, devs are required to create and enable this function. Unfortunately, they are maxed out for the next three months, devs are. They're not able to work on this update, but this is something they can hard code on the site and they can do this quicker as a workaround. This is something they can hard code within the next two weeks. Sounds like a good idea. It's certainly quicker. However, this workaround could lead to more problems for SEO down the line. If SEO are not aware of how this rec would be implemented and it's just left to the dev to carry out, they 100% will misinterpret the recommendation and create more SEO related problems than the recommendation was supposed to resolve. 100% this will happen. And no one will be aware of the newly created problems until after it's been created. (laughs) You gotta love SEO. Resolving these new problems will require more of SEO's time as well as devs and possibly also web editors. Workarounds oftentimes require more planning, more work than initially thought. This is the case, especially when the workaround arises due to a limitation in the CMS. If SEOs were only engaged with for the improvements of the CMS, a lot of pain could be avoided. Relying on workarounds and or a manual process to make up for the limitations of your CMS is not a very effective way of managing the assets that is your website. You know, there are businesses out there that have their websites on CMSs that are unable to auto-generate an XML sitemap. I say this often because I've come across a few businesses with this problem. Rather than investing in the development of their CMS, they rely on the manual creation of the XML sitemap every every so often. This is insane. Having and running a digital business on an inept CMS is an unfortunate way of regarding one's business. You see, the optimization of your website goes way beyond the optimization on your website. This is one of the many reasons why SEO is so beautifully fascinating. Sometimes to optimize your website, you have to optimize off of your website. You have to optimize the infrastructure of your website, your CMS. Yes, improving your CMS is a part of your website optimization. It's a part of your SEO. Without it, what you end up having is a system 
which isn't geared up to facilitate your success in the SERPs. And it will absolutely affect you in the SERPs. Why? Because it will impact your site's ranking ability. If your CMS has limitations, is unstable or damn right inept, it hinders your website's ability to rank in the SERPs. You want to know what success with SEO is? It's removing the barriers, the blockages that prevent you from realizing success with your SEO. Think about this. Most CMSs are built without SEO involvement. When SEOs are engaged with, the goal should be to optimize, to improve your CMS, eliminating the hindrances that are and could be negatively impacting your SEO. It's tackling the issues that could be holding back your SEO. It's doing so efficiently enough, consistently enough, ahead of your competitors who will be facing the same set of problems with their CMSs. As I mentioned in the last podcast, SEO is a game of who could make improvements quicker. Let's take Canonicals again as an example. This tag was introduced around 2009 or so. Prior to 2009, this tag wasn't a thing in search. Your CMS didn't need to have this functionality. Post its introduction, however, if you hadn't updated your CMS to cater for this tag, your SEO would have been affected negatively. If your competitors had updated their CMSs to cater for this functionality, their SEO would have had an advantage over yours. The ranking ability of their websites would have improved. Why? Because they would have been communicating to Google and other search engines better than you. They would have been providing clearer instructions to search engines. They would have been making it easy for search engines whilst you made it less easy by not having this very important signaling tag. The same logic can be applied to other ranking signals. It can be applied to page speed, hreflang tags, SSL, the same logic can be applied to any ranking signal that search engines release to influence website owners to improve their websites. So if it's been a while since you last optimized your CMS, consider action in this as a project. Consider action in this project in a timely manner. Consider your competitors facing the same set of issues as you and how much more streamlined they'll be with their SEO when they improve their CMS and you do not. All right, folks, let's leave it there for now. Stay tuned for more from Democratizing SEO. Subscribe to the podcast. You can find it on your podcasting app of choice. All right, folks, my name is Austin Esezabor. I'm an SEO guy. I'll be with you on a weekly basis to enlighten you on wielding SEO to success. That'll do it for now, folks. Until next time, bye for now.